Hello humans, my name is Nevitz, aka the Gutter Monkey, and we are back with some more assemblance. And we are continuing on with our loop here. Still have no idea what's going on, but I guess we're gonna use this terminal again. Oh, we got something new here. I bet this is that I bet this is that um apartment. 431E Terrace Drive. All right, I, this is going to be that apartment, I bet, where that woman was. Does this place look familiar? <laughs> yeah, it does. Memory access point, input stored memory. Input stored memory to continue. So let's just walk into this. This is your home, where you lived with your wife. What? What? Okay, so we are a man. We're not Morgan. Okay. Or I guess we could be. But, uh, a lesbian. I'm afraid to zoom in on it again. Right, that's the blue butterfly. Cat. Can I interact with any of this? I don't even see an interact button for anything ever. Okay. 918. Shoot, I should have been paying attention to the clocks this whole time, I guess. So it's 918 there. I don't know what significance that will be, but I feel like it will be something. 918, 919. All right, it's changing at least. Okay, what's the book we got? Hamilton and Grove. Sounds oddly familiar. A wagon. Okay. An old tree. There's no creepy woman standing here with her back turned to us, who I guess is our wife. Press X. Yeah, I don't know, maybe a little bit. So, okay, that must be her wife right there. She looked a bit thinner in person a moment ago. It's a dog. Yeah, I'll hit the, I'll check the X out. Oh, okay, so we can interact with her. That's cool. There's nothing in here. See that? I saw an interact button again. Very briefly. How do you... I swear I saw an uh, X pop up again. Okay. Palm tree, mountains, creepy hallway. What's that? Some people hiking on a rock. Check that out. It's a road. Oh god, something awful is gonna be back here. I just know it. Can I walk in here? I feel like something's just gonna happen right now. And it's creeping me out. Oh god. That's gonna be bad. Oh, there's a closet behind us. It's gonna be bad too. Hey, me again. It's about quarter after five. I just tried to get the office, but you didn't answer. Listen, you need to be careful. Your theory is based on initial assumptions that may not be accurate. You could hurt yourself. Also, we need to talk about 558F. You know, I can't just sit here and watch time go by. Get back to me. Five five eight F. All right, cool. Nothing popped up behind us. So. I'm thinking that was us on the recorder there. Five five eight L five five eight L. What is it? I hear something back here. Is it two women? Maybe we are lesbian.
Oh god, what is it? This little boy. And an obituary. It's saved. There's an obituary and a little boy in the drawer. Can I not grab that and check it out? For Christ's sake. Oh god. Little girl. Watch it. Alright. About ready to get the hell out of here. Not liking this place. Not liking one goddamn bit. Uh, I feel like we should go check out the other room first before- Wait a minute. Oh, it's about God, a quarter after five. I uh, just tried to get the office, but he didn't answer. Listen. All right. Show yourself. Also, we need to talk about five five eight F. Five five eight F. You know, I can't just sit here. No, I'm gonna write that down just in case. Five five eight F. All right. Just in case. And I guess we're going back. This, 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 this is all happening too fast. Not like before. We don't want you to end up like... Never mind what I said. It's important that you remain calm and follow any memory you can at this point. No, no, no let's go back to that. What, what, don't, don't want me to end up like... What? Oh, God. Like who? Oh man, I don't like this place. Something feels weird about it. I don't trust it. It's very quantum leapy. Oh. Mm. I was supposed to notice something, wasn't I? Is it the 558F? Oh, we'll go back to the office. Maybe. Always coming back to the office. So many problems you've created. If only... Why does this computer have such an attitude? Is this computer my voice? Is that, is that me? Recorded? I feel very not real. Five five eight F. That's what I'm looking for. Maybe. Anything else for me here? Creepy. No one saw the butterfly. Five five eight F. Five five eight F. Nothing. Five five eight F. Morgan's in the hat. Watch her in the hat. Okay, we saw that earlier. In the hat. So 558F is right there. Case member 558F. Okay, we'll read through this just a little bit more. Again, upon completion of the third stage of the treatment, increased FOFR Levels were observed and recorded in test subjects C1 and F7. Talk therapy and physical contact, motherly embracing, and seemed to alleviate C1's F -F 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 -O -F -R level, which was back to average by the subject's evening release. F7's FOFR fluctuated between 7.4 and 6.2 for more than four hours after test completion. Therefore, this test subject was deemed not safe for evening release and was required to stay overnight in observation. Of noteworthy mention are F7's recall and latest memory excursion of an illuminated rectangular field embedded in a purple globe. Maybe I should remember that. Purple globe. Rectangular field and purple globe. And subsequent feeling of Hydrophobia. I don't know what that is. Fear of water. Also worthy of note, subject D2 and C3 reported similar visions and feelings during their excursions. So what the hell is 8F? Is that... This looks like multiple subjects. Hmm? I don't get it. 
get it. I don't get it. Oh, God. Morgan's in the hat. I feel like I need to listen to an answering machine message again. I feel like I missed something. 558F. Such some case study. Okay, I don't want to listen to that. I don't want to listen to that again. Not in this dark ass room. Can I check the filing cabinet? No. 1204. I have not been looking at this clock. 1204. Let's see if that changes. Man, the music in this room is awful. They need to chill out with that. Alright, I'm not seeing anything I can do in here. I just want to make sure this clock changes time. Just checking it. Okay, it changed. Okay, all I, I, I don't know. Morgan's in the hat. Watcher. Sam. I don't, in the hat. What the hell does that mean? Does that mean literally in a hat? Morgan is very small. Has a very big hat. I don't know. Let's get the hell out of here. Shit. Oh, hey. Okay. <laughs> Alright. I failed at what I was, whatever I was supposed to do that time. Uh, I don't think it would be Woodland Ridge, would it? Wait a minute. In the hat. I saw a hat. There's a hat here. There's a hat right there. Give me the hat. Give me the hat. What do you mean Morgan's in the hat? Is Morgan a coat stand? No. Hmm. I go in there and listen to that answering machine message again and then see if I can get anything new from it. I don't know. Hey, 2001 Space Odyssey. Arthur C. Clark. I've read that. Painting turtles, Bobby and the petting stable. Is that the giant? The giant king. It's not that Stephen King short story. Is it the long giant? I think that's what it's called. That's what I said. Must be by a woman. Apple. Confidential three. All right, none of none of these books are helping me. Maybe I look in the coffee, figure out something. Worked on deadly premonition. Oh wait, that's kind of a globe, isn't it? No way. It's a vase, but it looks kind of like a globe. Man, I really don't want to listen to that thing again. I guess I'm gonna have to. Hey, me again. It's about quarter after five. I just tried to get the office, but you didn't answer. Listen, you need to be careful. You, your theory is based on initial assumptions that may not be accurate. You could hurt yourself. Also, to talk about 558F. You know, I can't just sit here and watch time go by. Get back to me. They gave me nothing new that I noticed. I swear that no do you hear that noise? It sounds almost like that I don't know, that choir kind of noise that you would hear on 2001 A Space Odyssey when the monoliths would show up. No idea. So 
this. Solaris. I don't read the book, but I didn't know there was a book. But I've seen the movies. The original and the Clooney remake. I like both of them. All right, little girl, what do you got to show me? Nothing. Hmm. I don't know, man. Shoot. All right. Beam me out. We'll figure it out, hopefully. Eventually. I don't know. I'm stumped. Dang it. All I can figure is that Morgan in the hat thing, or something about that globe, that rectangular illuminated thing in a globe. Or that, uh, I guess, what was it, 5-5-8-F five, five, thing, but that's everywhere, so that could be anything. Shoot. Well, I'm gonna go back to that first simulated area, I guess, because... It's the only place we haven't been back to yet. So we'll check that out again, see if we can find anything new. I guess. I guess there's nothing in here to look at. I mean, maybe it was that picture of that boy, because he it looked like he might have been standing in a place like this, right? God, look at that. That looks like a face. Ah, ah, it's terrifying. It looked like he was standing against a rock, kind of, in a way. So it could have been right here. Shit. Oh, what the fuck? I swear, I feel like something was pushing me just then. Sorry for my language. But I have bad language. I can't help it. Oh, God. Now. Anything? Oh, look at this. What do we got? Solaris. We just... Okay, we saw that in the other room. Can I not... That doesn't trigger anything? Damn it. Thought we were onto something there. That We gotta take a mental note of that, though. Uh, Solaris being there. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. I mean, should we look at the butterfly again? Is that gonna freak us out again? No? We're done freaking out over that? Oh, what the fuck? Did you see that? Maybe that was just a leaf. I don't know. I am so on edge. I just feel like the game is just going to do something to me. Okay. Shoot. Man, I'm not finding anything. Except for that Solaris book. Isn't there some sort of significance to that sitting out here? Surely. I mean, what's... Can't we move it? Touch it? Anything? Nothing. I do nothing. Hmm. Is there anything else out here that I missed? I can't believe I missed a book just sitting there. I mean, it does have those flowers on it, though. So it kind of blended in. They're green. And I kind of want to look at that 
picture that boy again on the obituary thing I might do that yeah I mean if I can't find anything else out here I may as well yeah I mean I guess I could go back to the office and look for more stuff there but oh my god I so don't want to like, maybe I should look out here I didn't look in the distance be something out there. Nothing? Damn it. Alright, butterfly. I'll be back. I'm sure of it. Alright, so... It wasn't all lies because we at least found that that Solaris book was out there. It's the same book that is in our apartment. So there's got to be something up with that, right? And it had flowers on it. Solaris was weird too. I was too stupid to understand that as well. Okay, so let's go back to the apartment and we'll look at that picture. Again. That boy in the drawer. If I don't find anything, I might just fast forward us to when I do find something. Lloyd Parker? What is our name? So I get, we're not Morgan, apparently. So maybe we're Sam. This is, of course, assuming the memories were accurate to begin with. What's the first name on there? Sam. If I was gonna make a list of names, I'd put mine first. Anything here? That doesn't have a clock on it. Can we listen to this? Any messages, maybe? Really don't want to read all of these things again. I don't know if I read all of them last time, but I read a lot of them. I wonder if that is supposed to be a reference to the office. The stapler guy in the office. How is it here? something is gonna jump out at us okay the time just changed on this clock I wonder whether, why there was no clock on the computer I don't know what it said before it definitely changed though it looks like the lighting in this place oh it, okay it must have been nighttime last time and now it's daytime so 523 Okay, maybe I'll just fast forward all the way to when I accidentally look at the clock. Computer's off. Was something cueing us to look at the clock? I, I don't remember a hint. I mean, all kinds of stuff told us to look at clocks, I guess. Or anything that it must be possible we can force ourselves to deliberately forget through EEG measurements we should be able to capture the exact moment when the memory is intended that is when the degradation is empowered the inhibition of memory uses an effect behind Okay, the time is moving extremely quick over there. Now, I 
respond to your actions, but your own memories will drive behavior. So, uh, let's say, for example, you say, the <laughs> Forty-one. Do something again. Don't scare me. See if anything's changed. Right? See what the names have changed. Oh, dang. <gasps> Sam and Morgan are crossed out now. All that's left are Alex, Bartholomew, and Rome. I don't remember exactly what all was crossed out before, but that's different. We're in a different day now. I don't... Okay, maybe we should just get out of here. Wait. Okay, I'm gonna check these. See if anything's changed in these. Time dilation error. Okay, I think this is... Okay. Maybe after we read that for the first time, that's when we should have look, looked at the clock. As it said right there... It's talking about time dilation and stuff, and it says the time the time had not changed when they looked at the clock. So that might have been our cue to look at the clock. Hats. Okay, it look, looks all that stuff the same. Okay, let's go back to the creepy rooms. Get out of this friggin' holodeck. Okay. All right. What's going on? Shoot. Nothing new. <laughs> okay. So, we'll try to figure out where to go next. This time, I guess we're gonna, we're gonna have to revisit someplace. I'm thinking maybe we go back to Woodland Ridge again and check out that, uh, the Solaris book, maybe again, but... Until next time, my name is Nevitz, aka the Gutter Monkey. Bye.